Northern Michigan University's volleyball team is currently undefeated after sweeping the Wildcat Open over the weekend. TV6's Nicole Buckman joins us live with the Wildcat winners. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Sarah. I'm live at Vandermint Arena, where a lot of that winning happened over the weekend at the Wildcat opening. Now, joining me are some of the key players that made that happening happen. Now, over the weekend, you're not only undefeated. You're, you know, like I said, you're eight and zero, but you guys are nationally ranked, 23rd in the nation after winning uh, over the University of Minnesota Duluth. Talk me um, through. How does it feel to be ranked? <laughs> well, it's an honor and a privilege to be nationally ranked, obviously, but. As a team whole, like it's a team effort, and everyone had a part into that. So we're honored and humbled again, but we can't let that go into our heads. So every day is a new day, and every game is a new game, and we can't overrate our opponents ever. Right, and you know you're you're a senior. How does that make you feel? Did you ever think you guys would get to this point? I mean, it's something that we definitely always work for, and it's always the goal. But it's really nice to see it come together this year, and like. Honestly, to see that it's because of like how we are as a team and how we've come together and like pushed through adverse moments even this early in the season. So it's definitely exciting to see it actually unfold. Well, congratulations. Now we have the coach here. I'm going to walk over to you. Uh, so kind of we have the highlights about to play. Uh, talk me through some of the key moments of, of that match where you guys defeated, uh, you know, a number one ranked team. Uh, yeah, it was it was a it was a great win. Uh, I think the 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 moment that we kind of realized, okay, this was for real, was maybe the first or second time out of the match. We realized that we were executing the game plan we wanted to execute, uh, and it was working against a very formidable opponent in you know Minnesota Duluth. Uh, and so uh, that was really the most important thing: is execution of a game plan from beginning to end. So our passing was good, our attacking was very aggressive. A lot of times when you're playing a good team, you're afraid to make mistakes. This team wasn't afraid to make mistakes against them. Uh, and are really tough serving, and it got them in trouble. And when a team's in trouble on the other side of the net, they're giving you an easy ball back. And, and we're taking those and doing a lot of positive things with it. So overall, it was just from beginning to end, we executed the game plan. And that was what was exciting about this team, is they're doing the right things at the right time, and we're seeing a positive result because of it. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Now, I know you guys have two away games coming up um, before you guys come back to the home turf to face your rival, uh, Michigan Tech, uh, here. Um, how are you guys preparing uh, for these games? Uh, well, yesterday we spent some time uh, working on film. The team, uh, we put a lot of uh, responsibility on them to scout our opponents. So we talked about the things that they're going to be doing, what our expectations need to be. And I think they mentioned it. It's just one game at a, at a time. So right now our focus 100% on Lake State, beating them. Uh, once that's over, then we turn our attention to Saginaw. Once the weekend's over, then we focus on the match that most people around here are probably interested in hearing about. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, and we'll talk more. We've done the talking. Now we'll try to do some of the walking. I'll try to put my volleyball skills to the test and see if I can measure up to these nationally ranked volleyball players. I'm going to serve it back to you guys. Reporting live in Marquette, Nicole Buckman, TV6 News. This morning we are with the NMU volleyball team, currently ranked 23rd in the nation. TV6's Nicole Buckman joins us again from Vanaman Arena. How's it going, Nicole? It's going well. I'm learning some volleyball skills. We've been working on passing uh, throughout the hour. I'm getting my platform lesson. Now, uh, do you want to kind of go over and make sure we're, uh, I have it all set before we do a passing drill. Is this correct? Yep, it's correct. We're going to take our right fist and then we're going to take our left hand and we're going to pop it around. We're going to have our platform out. All righties, let's put it to the test with this. The goal is to get it in the net. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna set it to me, yes. and then I'll try to get it in here. Okay. Oh, darn it! Two overshot. <laughs> see now, too I, I, have, I too am strong. just too strong for you guys. <laughs> okay. All righty. Okay, we'll do third times the third charm. Time. Time but if it's not gonna work, it won't happen. Okay. <laughs> I see what you did there. You tried to bring the net closer to me. I appreciate that. So unfortunately, we can't do the, the cute little point cats because I did not get a point. But, you know, talk to me a little bit about what this point cat means. I know people have the signs for it uh, at the game, at home games. So the point cats to us is after every time we get a point, our fans are asked to wave it in the air and our announcers will say point cats. It's just a way to encourage the team a little bit more 
and make it more interactive for the fans. And for the big Michigan Tech game next Tuesday at 7 p.m. here, you guys will be selling t-shirts that say Point Cats. So how does that gonna, you know, help you um, in the game having a packed uh, arena or hopefully a packed arena? Um, our fans are like the biggest thing that just bring so much spirit to our games and they really like get behind us like our bench is huge and our fans are huge um, and it definitely helps us in tense moments in the games. I think we all say like in the locker room and stuff we definitely have the best fans in the GLIAC by far so we're super excited to play in front of them on Tuesday. Awesome. Well best of luck to you. I don't think I will be your secret weapon. <laughs> That's for sure as I can't even get it in there. But you can if you can't make the game here at 7 p.m. next Tuesday September 11th you can watch it live on Fox UP. We'll be uh, having the game broadcasted live so you can catch it there. And of course we'll have the recaps of your guys' games this week going into that. We don't want to go too far <laughs> ahead but best of luck to you guys. Go Wildcats and keep, uh, keep going strong. Reporting live in Marquette, Nicole Buckman, TV Six News. Thank Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Nicole. Lots of fun with the enemy volleyball team this morning. And Sarah, of course, people who want to check out more about enemy athletics can go to the business after hours tonight happening at the Superior Dome from 5 until 7 with enemy athletics. So a great chance to join TV6 and NMU for uh, that partnered activity.